Hi, good day everyone. It's me again, Miss Joyce, and welcome to another awesome episode of Sci Amazing. Because learning science is fun. Let us recall first our last lesson. What did you learn about our last lesson? You are correct. Last time, we learned about identifying elements and compounds from food labels and recognize important elements and compounds that are useful to humans. Today, we will discuss about the difference of pure substances and mixtures based on a set of properties. 1. Distinguish mixtures from substances according to its composition and properties. 2. Differentiate mixtures based on their observable phase. 3. Identify and distinguish homogeneous mixtures from heterogeneous mixtures. Okay, let's begin! Pure substances and mixtures can be distinguished according to its composition and properties. A pure substance has the same composition all throughout and it cannot be separated into components by ordinary physical means. Pure substances can either be an element or a compound. Mixtures are physical combinations of two or more pure substances. Mixtures can either be homogeneous or heterogeneous. Matter has of two main properties, physical and chemical properties. Physical property is a characteristic that can be observed or measured without changing the composition of a substance. Examples are melting point, boiling point, solubility, hardness, and ductility. Chemical property is a characteristic that can be observed when a substance undergoes a change in its composition. Mixtures can be homogeneous or heterogeneous. They mainly differ in terms of particle size of the dissolved, dispersed, or mixed substances. Let's try this. Classify the following common substances as pure substances and mixtures. 1. Table salt. What is your answer? You are correct. Table salt is a pure substance. Why? Because table salt is a compound. And a compound is a pure substance. 2. Macaroni salad. What is your answer? Yes, you are right. Macaroni salad is a mixture. Why? Because macaroni salad has many ingredients or observable parts. And mixture is a combination of two or more substances. How about chlorine? Yes, you are correct. This is a pure substance. Why? Because chlorine is an element. And element is a pure substance. Next is air. What is your answer? Yes, it is a mixture. Why? Because air is composed of mixture of several gases. 5. Water. Is it a pure substance or a mixture? That's right. Water is a pure substance. Why? Because water is composed of two elements of hydrogen and oxygen. And this is a compound. And compound is a pure substance. Alright. Can you distinguish now a pure substance from a mixture? Very good. Now, there are types of mixtures based on observable phase. The homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures. Homogeneous mixtures can be solid, liquid, or gas. The particles are distributed evenly and has uniform appearance. It has only one base or layer. 
homogeneous mixtures are also called solutions. Examples of homogeneous mixtures are mixture of salt and water, sugar and water, air, carbonated drinks, and 18 karat gold. There are two parts of a solution, solute and solvent. Solute is the one that dissolves in the solution. Solvent is the one that does the dissolving. Example, salt solution. Salt is the solute and water is the solvent. How about a heterogeneous mixture? Heterogeneous mixtures are made up of more than one paste or of different parts and can be separated physically. It has two or more layers or paces, and it can be seen by the naked eye. Examples are halo-halo, fruit salad, mixture of oil and water, and sand in water. Okay, let's try more. Identify each material as either a pure substance or a mixture. If the material is a mixture, identify it as either homogeneous or heterogeneous. If the material is a pure substance, identify it as an element or a compound. All right, let's check your answers. You all did it well. Good job. Now, let us summarize what we have learned today. Pure substances and mixtures can be distinguished according to its composition and properties. A pure substance has the same composition all throughout and it cannot be separated into components by ordinary physical means. Pure substances can either be an element or a compound. Mixtures are physical combinations of two or more pure substances. Mixtures can either be homogeneous or heterogeneous. Matter has of two main properties, the physical property and chemical property. Physical property is a characteristic that can be observed or measured without changing the composition of a substance. Chemical property is a characteristic that can be observed when a substance undergoes a change in its composition. There are types of mixtures based on observable phase, the homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures. Homogeneous mixtures can be solid, liquid, or gas. The particles are distributed evenly and has uniform appearance. Heterogeneous mixtures are made up of more than one phase or of different parts and can be separated physically. Okay, get a paper and a pen. Try to answer the following. Fill in the correct words that fit in the given sentences.
Okay, let's check your answers. You all did it well. Very good. And that wraps up our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. See you again next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye!